Today we're going to talk about a new common phenomena called positional plagiocephaly or asymmetric head shapes in babies. An asymmetric head shape indicates that the baby has a favorite side. The muscles of the neck function better on one side than the other and it makes it easier for the child to turn in one direction compared to the other side. In other words, an asymmetric head shape is an indication that the neck is not functioning automatically and we need to make sure that the automatic function of the neck muscles come into place. How common is it to have an asymmetric head shape and what can we do about it? In the 1970s, approximately one out of 300 children had an asymmetric head shape. In 2006, as many as 2 out of 10 babies in the USA had a flat head syndrome. And in 2016 in Sweden, every other infant had a flat or asymmetric head shape. This is a 10 day old baby. The newborn baby's head is proportionately large in comparison to the rest of the body compared to proportions when we are adults. Lying on her back, the baby's head is unstable and it is difficult to balance the head. The head can easily fall to one side. When lying on her tummy, the baby can lift the head from side to side and keep it lifted briefly. It may seem difficult, but lifting the head from side to side is the perfect task for a little baby. It triggers all three balance organs that aim to teach the child the first thing, head control. Let's look at this again. Look how much weight she has on the cheek. The baby will pay attention to the weight and wants to lift the head and change position. When doing this, many things happen. The baby does weight shifts. She transfers weight from one side to the other and forward and backward. The baby also increases the range of motion in the neck and can turn to the left and to the right. The muscles of the neck are activated and they become stronger. When the baby turns the head, the eyes move before the neck does. The same thing happens when you turn your head to the side. The eyes move first automatically. In the inner ear, we have the vestibular balance organ, which reacts to us changing position of the head. When lifting the head from side to side, the vestibular system is also activated. Some children who lay exclusively on their back get a flat back of the head and a peaked head shape. Some children lay on their back and turn the head in only one direction. The head becomes asymmetrical and flat. Let's look first at a round symmetrical head shape. When you see the head from above, the forehead is even, the ears are parallel and the back of the head is rounded. This is best observed when the child's head is viewed from directly above. In addition to the head becoming flatter on the affected side, both ear and forehead are shifted forward in relation to the ear and forehead on the opposite side. So what can we do? We can prevent it by encouraging movement and changing positions and by spending a lot of the awake time lying on the tummy. A small child can, when awake, alternate between lying on the tummy and lying on the left and right side. When lying on the side, the arms come into focus and it can be easier to try and reach a baby gym for a small child. When lying on the tummy, you can help the baby by placing the arms under the chest and by getting down on the floor and talking to your child. You can place your child on the tummy on an inclined support area instead of a horizontal. This you can do by placing your child on your chest or on your legs like this. Every time you put your baby down for just a short while, you may need to get a glass of water or put on your shoes or get a, a diaper. Place your child on a tummy numerous times a day, even if it's only a minute. You want your child to spend at least 30 minutes a day total on the tummy. If your child has a favorite side to the right, carry the child like this looking to his left. 
you also need to place the child on the left side in order to make the head symmetrical again. You can use a positional pillow just like this, lying on the left side. Or you can use a soft pillow with a hole in the middle that will make weight distribution much more even and uh, improve the head shape. It's weight bearing that will make the head shape good again, lie on the opposite side than the favorite. Muscle strength of the neck can be practiced by rolling over from back to stomach. Make sure that your child can roll both to the left and to the right. When you roll over your right shoulder, you lift with your left side of the neck and the opposite if you turn the other way. Good motor function is connected to feeling good mentally. We know this ourselves as adults. When your child feels strong and capable, he will be happy. If your child feels weak, he will feel frustrated. It may be difficult to begin with to start putting your child on the tummy, but it's definitely worth it. After only a few weeks, they will become much stronger and much happier. The child needs to be able to carry his own weight and move around and feel good. It's really important to have good neck function. It's the beginning of motor development and it's supposed to be automatic. Full strength, full range of motion, full balance capacity on the left and the right side. So place your child on the tummy. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I hope it has been informative for you. If you have questions regarding motor development in children, please leave a comment below and I will try and answer.